Well, if you're having a little bit of deja vu, you're not wrong. I was here last week for a re-canvas, but this time the focus is just on the 8th District State Senate race. The process is it's a good process. It's a little tedious. Election workers are back at Torrington City Hall just one week after they recounted ballots the first time. Oh, okay. Last week, the city held a discrepancy re-canvas due to issues on election day. Workers recounted just early voter absentee and same-day registration ballots. The results of that re-canvas triggered an automatic recount for the 8th State Senate District. Well, obviously, it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Republican incumbent Lisa Seminara conceded to Democratic challenger Paul Honig after Election Day two weeks ago, but she rescinded that concession when last week's re-canvas brought the margin to just 256 votes. An automatic recount is triggered if the margin of victory is less than 0.5 percent of the votes cast. I believe it's something like 0.46 percent was the difference, so it's very, very close. Votes are being recounted in all 11 municipalities in the 8th District, including Torrington, Avon, Heartland, and Norfolk. It's part of the process and that every vote should count and every voice should be heard. My hope is, of course, to return back there in January, but if that is not in the cards for me, I wish my opponent the best of luck. In a statement, Honig said, quote, I respect the recount process as a vital part of our democratic system. Every voice matters and every vote deserves to be counted accurately, adding I'm confident in the outcome and look forward to moving forward. While recounts obviously aren't new to Connecticut, low voter turnout overall was a contributing factor here. The state reported about 76% total voter turnout for the 2024 elections. That's down from about 80% four years ago in 2020, making this the lowest voter turnout since 2012. Election workers expect to have the finalized results from the 8th district race by this Thursday. Reporting in Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.